What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we're going to check out WWE wrestlers whose bodies are permanently altered. Once again, this is why I always say I, I want to show respect to the wrestlers that have wrestled in the past, that's wrestling currently, um, and those that are in training, man. You guys, you, women and men, you guys dedicate your lives to entertaining us, the masses, and you're willing to put your body on the line and put your body through pain and, and a rigorous amount of training just to get a reaction from us. And it takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of heart. It takes a lot of skill to do what these guys do. So I always try to show respect. Doesn't matter if they're uh, independent in an independent company, in a major company, doesn't matter if you're out there and you're wrestling for people and trying to entertain willing willingly putting your body uh through pain hey, i appreciate you and i know a lot of my subscribers hopefully they appreciate you as well man you should if you love wrestling you gotta appreciate the craft and what goes into it should be a good one appreciate all love support Let's do it. These WWE wrestlers suffered injuries that altered their lives. Some have lost parts of their body, while others have become paralyzed due to accidents in the ring. Mick Foley became a wrestling icon thanks partly to all the crazy stunts of he performed course. throughout his career. However, all the success came at a cost. While wrestling for WCW, Mick Foley wrestled a match against Vader in Germany. Earlier in the show, some wrestlers said the ropes were too loose, which caused them to be really tight by the time Foley and Vader got into the ring. During the match, Mick Foley dived into the ropes and accidentally oh got stuck. The tightness of the ropes made it difficult to free himself, but Foley was able to get out. However, the hardcore icon injured his right ear in the process. Damn. Then, once he was back in the ring, Vader punched Mick Foley, which caused Foley's ear to fall off. Oh Thankfully, doctors were able to use plastic surgery to help repair it, but the wrestler's ear was never the same. Today, if you see Foley's right ear, you'll oh. notice that it just looks really small compared to the one on his left. Unfortunately, though, this isn't the only body-altering injury the WWE Hall of Famer would suffer. Due to years of oh abuse and gosh. insane wrestling spots like being thrown off hell in a cell oh Foley's body God. has taken a beating he has undergone multiple surgeries and as a result walks with a limp this became quite noticeable when Mick Foley was the Raw General Manager in 2016 mm. and 2017 despite all this Foley is an incredibly positive person and yeah. still loves wrestling to this very day when discussing bro, that's that Mick Foley man much respect to you bro the fact you was willing to go through all that pain just to entertain us that's why he's goaded bro that that is why he he is one of the best to ever do it bro dude is super super <laughs> extreme he is the definition of extreme willing to do anything to entertain the fans man Love Mick Foley, bro. Seeing wrestlers with amazing physiques, you must mention Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff. The man had a body that rivaled Hulk Hogan, but unfortunately, Orndorff would suffer an injury that would take this away. During Mr. Wonderful's time with WWE in the 80s, he suffered a severe injury in his right arm during a weightlifting accident. Paul Orndorff was in a big feud with Hulk Hogan at the time and chose to continue wrestling rather than undergo surgery and fix it. This yeah, back then, Losing your spot meant damn near potentially the end of your career. And if you're going against Hulk Hogan at that time was the biggest wrestler in the world. If you're in a program with him, you're trying to make that last as long as possible. That's more money in your pocket, more opportunities. So I can understand wrestlers back then just dealing with the injuries, taking pain pills or other type of um other type of substances to help deal with the pain just to go out there because they're trying to keep their spot it was it was eat or be eaten back then you know what i'm saying it wasn't all about you know oh everyone gets a chance no <laughs> no either you made a name for yourself or you was gonna get left in the dust bro so i i understand why he probably did what he did this caused Orndorff to suffer nerve damage in his right arm, forcing oh. him to retire from wrestling. Damn. While Orndorff eventually made a return, he suffered from muscle atrophy, which is the wasting or thinning of muscle mass. What happened was Paul Orndorff's right arm became smaller than his left. Wow. This became increasingly noticeable as Paul Orndorff's career continued, particularly during his final run in WCW. Despite the body-altering injury, Mr. Wonderful remained in great shape and still looked amazing. During yeah, a lot even though his arm... His, uh, his other arm is not as jacked as um, his other arm, but it's just, he still look good out there. He still look good out there, man. And it's, it's, it's the cost of wrestling, bro. The cost 
of trying to be the top guy. That's that's what it is sometimes. A pay-per-view event in 1996, William Regal suffered an injury that permanently altered one of his eyes. While wrestling Finley at Uncensored 1996, the Irishman gave Regal a real punch to the face oh. that fractured William Regal's cheekbone and split his eyelid. In oh. the aftermath, Regal needed 12 stitches in order to fix the wound. Additionally, the injury gave the Englishman a permanent fold in his left eye. Oh. Thankfully, it didn't get in his way, and William Regal would go on to become one of the most renowned wow. people in wrestling. That's wild as hell, bro. He gave that man a real stiff shot. Just bink, damn. Oh, my God, bro. And kept wrestling the match. That's for one punch. And this is why people got to understand, man. Sometimes accidents happen in the, in the ring. And if uh, it's one of those things where you communicate, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you punch me, boom, 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 boom. But if they really lay into your shit, either on accident or on purpose, you can end up with injuries like this. A common body alteration that several wrestlers have suffered from is forehead scars. Yep, wrestlers lady. like Yvonne Dudley, Dusty Rhodes, New Jack, and Abdul mm -hmm. the Butcher have all lived with permanent scars on their heads. The reason for this is due to blading. Whenever a wrestler wants to bleed during a match, they'll use a very small razor blade to cut themselves. They do it in such a way to keep themselves safe, yeah. but years of cutting yourself does add up, and that can be seen clearly on the heads uh. of some wrestlers. Blading isn't the only thing that causes scars. For example, Joe Mercury suffered one of the worst looking injuries at Armageddon in 2006 when he got smacked in the face by a ladder. Oh Thankfully, God. Mercury did recover. However, the accident caused permanent damage to his face. Joey Mercury has a scar right between his eyes that is still visible years after. Bro, I remember watching that whole, that, that situation, bro. Oh my God, that was such a brutal spot. My God, when it, when I watched that happen, I was like, that's not no blade job. No, he was legit busted open hard. He didn't get his hands up in enough time. And I'm talking about when you see it live, bro. Oh, just blood is gushing from his face, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was that was insane, bro. The latter injury. Someone else you have to talk about when mentioning scars is Sabu. The ECW original and death defying wrestler competed in some of the most extreme wrestling matches in history. Mm -hmm. Like with Mick Foley, this oh did cost gosh. him. Sabu's body is filled with scars. Part of the reason Sabu looks the Damn. way he does is that he didn't have health insurance. Instead, the hardcore wrestler would patch himself up with super glue. This next incident is the sad. What in the hell? Yo, that's extreme on a whole nother level. Sir, do you have insurance? No. All I need is super glue. Sir, 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 I don't think that's how I'm good. <laughs> sir, I don't I don't think that's how you do it. I'm good. <laughs> Status of the mall. Draws was a former football player turned WWE wrestler. He debuted in 1998, but his career abruptly ended with an accident that altered his entire life. While at a SmackDown event in October 1999, Draws competed in a match against D'Lo Brown. One of Brown's signature moves was a running powerbomb, and he went to perform the move like normal during this match with Draws. However, D'Lo couldn't get a tight enough grip, and Draws landed on his head and neck. As soon as it happened, oh. Draws was rushed to a nearby hospital. Luckily, doctors saved his life, but the wrestling injury left draws paralyzed oh, and unable man. to use his legs. Today, he needs to use a wheelchair to move around and take several medications daily. Despite this, draws is not bitter or upset at D'Lo or anyone. In his own words, just because I'm paralyzed and stuck in a wheelchair doesn't mean my life is over. I've learned to live again and my life is far from over. Besides injuries, Damn, another bro. part of wrestling that has altered wrestling hey. Hey, much respect to him to having that type of outlook, bro. This is why they don't try this at home. Leave it to the professionals. And accidents happen. When people make the ridiculous comment, oh, I thought wrestling was fake. Storylines may be predetermined. The storylines are not real. You know, some of them are, but most of them aren't. Some of the moves they do in the ring is not real. It's more of an illusion. Some of the punches they throw are not real. But there are times where you get some stiff shots you get some stiff punches these moves you have to trust the other person to make sure that they know what they're doing or you can get injured those chair shots real falling through a real table these things happen getting hit with real kendo sticks like things like this happen all the time you know so it's 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 one of those type of comments where people make oh it's not real it, 
Tell that to the people that have been injured. Tell that to the people that's lost, you know, blood, a, a, a lot of blood or have permanent scars. Tell that to them that it's not real. And I'm sure they'll look at you stupid. <laughs> so, you know, the injuries are real. The storylines may not be real. Some of the moves they may not do. But what they do in that ring, a lot of that takes some skill, time, and dedication. And a lot can go wrong. But comment down below. Let me know which one of these stories surprised you the most in this video. But I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.